my rebar done yesterday. Although I had a big problem with my caulking guns, neither of them ended up not wanting to dispense the, uh, the epoxy. It would not uh, push it out. It got cold, although I was heating up the epoxy. Oh, I, that one wasn't working. And then I had a backup one. This one, well, the end wasn't even wide enough for the epoxy tube. So I ground it out. Okay, that worked. During all of this, the epoxy was setting up in the tube, in the end of the tube anyway. And that one ended up having the same problem. I have a third one, to not find it. So, if you are doing rebar and cement epoxy in, make sure you have a good caulking gun. So you don't run into that because this stuff is like $25 per tube. Anyway, I believe I got it all done. Let's look at some of this. It was cool last night, but I think it only got down to 44 or something. Feels pretty stiff. Feels, feels hard as a and we'll tie all this other stuff together. See, I have all these short pieces. There's one more spot where I can tie it, you see. But, uh, yeah, I had extra holes drilled from two years ago when I was just trying out that uh, heavy duty drill used for masonry, cement, drill, brick, and everything. Rotary hammer. That's what it is. This is quite an old one from what I believe. I think I got it off KBID for, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks. Still works and it came with bits, so that was a win. Old Black and Decker did the job. So in those extra spots, when I didn't really have a plan after I got it a couple of years ago, I was just testing it to see if it would actually drill through the cement. I stuck these little pieces of rebar uh, just for extra, extra mending for the new cement because that's going to be here to here. I'll just help hold it on to it. And yeah. I think we are good to go with cementing. My plan is to cement tomorrow, and I think it's going to work. I just got a portion of all these leaves have blown in here. I packed that down as good as I could get it. I'm going to buy a little bit more, more uh, cement tonight just in case. A little more rebar there. Oh these spots. I think this is 5 eighths rebar. The guy that previously worked on this. Yeah, there's two spots here. I think that's only quarter inch rebar. What was going on in his head? Oh wait. Shoot, there's a third spot. It's only quarter inch. But I would be willing to bet that's a good half inch. Half inch, half inch. I remember my book said every four feet, if I'm remembering right. So, I actually did these every couple of feet. Looks like every two feet. But, those three, I think I'm gonna put some half inch bar next to it and just extend it beef it up a little bit because they need to be higher anyways so I should stick out three feet anyways it looks like the cement concrete bonding worked I will try and make another video tomorrow of doing cement my next plan 
once I get cement in here, but I'm going to try and jack this up. That's the main beam. And the way it's jacked up, I don't believe. I mean, it's working for now. But I don't think that's the right way to do it. I think you really got to get that jacked up. And then for the winter, for the snow load on the roof, because that's Coming down on that one, I do believe a lot of it. I'll try and get some blocks under here. All right, it's another day. Oh, am I sore after doing all these concrete bags. I don't even know how many I mixed. Well, I have a mixer that mixed them, but still have to lug them around. Still work. I think I did about 30 bags, but I think we have a footing that looks respectable. I did add one more rebar, a nice thick 5 8 stuff because Directly above is a beam. Well, at the time I was thinking that was the main beam because I was trying to work quick. Although that is a good support beam, it's an extra one that was on the end. Either way, all these uh, meow meow. All these other rebars, they're too small. Here's another 5 eighths I put in. It's less than a quarter inch the other guy had that was working on this for me for a while. Anyways, they actually were placed two feet apart, so probably would have been fine. But I read, did some reading in my book, and they only need to be four feet apart. So I went every other. And there we go. The whole footing wall is about six inches taller, so we're going in the right direction. I'm just going to pull the form off of the other side. It looks like we got a little bit low in the middle. Well, not quite the middle, but I was running short on concrete. I actually used some old stuff that was half hardened up crushed it apart. I was not going to buy any more concrete. I spent too much money on concrete this year. So, after it did wet the concrete, and pour and pour it on top of it, I think, I think it's okay. There's a few air pockets in there. I was trying to do it nice and uh, if with uh, not as much water as I wanted because apparently concrete with mixed with less water is stronger. This is kind of goofy, but uh, that was just extra because of the frame that the other guy had was so goofy. I just tried to square it up a little bit. So it is what it is. I was going to wait until next season to do any block work, but I'm actually going to try and lay one course of blocks. I just have to figure out where the center line is supposed to be on this 1800s building. Thanks for watching. Come again.